Hey y'all! Ew, okay. I'm on my third video filming today, and I'm really proud of myself. Wait, this is my fourth video I'm filming today. Ethan's here with me. Again. Again? <laughs> You're going to home to eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not eat here. We no. have a beef. Oh, really? Oh, so it's a beef. Oh, wait, then you can't fit either. So, as you've seen by the title of this video now, I'm doing another 30 day workout challenge! I'm in such a weird mood. Yeah. And this is gonna be the 100 day ab challenge by Blogolates, or however you say her name. I'm so sorry, I probably said that really wrong. But I'm gonna be doing her 30 day challenge. A lot of you guys wanted to see me do that one. And I saw someone's results on it and it looked amazing. And I think a few of you commented that you did it before and it really worked. So I'm excited to see how everything goes. And I hope you're excited to see how everything goes for me. So each day of the 30 days is assigned with a specific movement or workout. And then you do 100 reps of that every day. So a little bit of background because I always suck at giving you background. Um, I just finished my last 30 day workout challenge. In between then, it's been like about two weeks. I haven't worked out at all. <laughs> so yeah, we need to get back into things. Summer is approaching and even though I go to the beach like once every two months, maybe I'll decide to go more this summer and we'll get that beach body. I know, I never go because I always forget to say this, but I'm not gonna be changing the way I eat. If anything, it's gonna get worse because every time that I work out, then I tell myself I can eat worse. And things just go downhill from there, so yeah. Enjoy the nonsense and let's just get into measurements now, I think. So we're gonna try to make this experiment more controlled by not doing any other workouts and I'm not gonna go running, obviously, because I don't F with cardio and yeah, let's just get into measurements now. Here's my before shot. Um, the ab line shows sometimes, like from the side right here. Just wanted to mention that I am trying to look good in my photo videos because I don't want to lie to you guys and like bulge my stomach or whatever in this before so that my after looks better. So um, yeah, I just want to let you know so that when I later compare the after, you guys can get like a good sense of like what actually happened. I guess what I'll want to work on this time is getting the ab line even lower down to like here or something and then maybe something here. I don't really know. I think from my last workout I have like a little bit of something there but I don't really exactly know what it is so yeah. Yeah so not only do I want abs I want my waist to get smaller so hopefully it burns some fat off. I'm at a 25. Okay, so for my last workout challenge, I had gotten to a 24.25, but now I'm not, so yeah, I gained that back really fast, and that's not good, but it's okay, we're going to start this workout. So I'm at exactly a 25 inch, and my goal is to get under that, and also look visibly better. Okay, so I think we're going to do a hundred of these. They're called hundreds because I guess it's kind of like a play on words because we're going to be doing hundreds abs every day. So yeah, a hundred reps, I mean. So that's why it's called the hundred ab challenge. Okay, so you start by trying to, you just pump your arms like that. So you do a hundred of these? Yeah. Wait, is this it? I feel like it's kind of easy. Wait, is that it? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to start it when they start it. I feel like this is more effective. You have to try to use your abs, not your neck, and that's so hard to keep it up. Ow. Okay, I have to do this one. Oh, actually gonna Yeah, okay, it hurts now. At first you were saying that it wasn't hurting, so I thought I was doing it wrong. Oh, but nope. Oh. What are we on? This is the last ten. Oh, okay, that was intense. Oh, it kinda hurts my neck now. Because Ethan, how you doing? I'm fine. Oh, I wish you, he, oh, he's, he wasn't in the frame, really. It's okay. Shut up. I was there. Okay, so we're done 
I'm with the workout. This is such a good workout. Okay, this is like something that I can really commit to because I have not been doing too well because I yeah, school and I have AP exams coming up in like two or three weeks and SAT subject tests and stuff. So like this is a really good workout to do because it's not like a big time commitment and it's even less than 10 minutes. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Hi, today's day two of the 100 app challenge. I'm going to do it with Ethan here and Caitlin. Caitlin, turn around. Say hi. Caitlin, turn around. There you are. We're starting the... We just changed and I lost Ethan, so Caitlin and I are just going to go do it. Yeah! I don't have this much energy. So in previous workouts, like, it was time. So I could just slack off technically if I wanted to for like a few seconds but for this one you count the time so like you can't be acting up because you count each rep that you do so every time counts I guess I actually didn't feel soreness yesterday but I think I'm definitely gonna feel it after this one today because it worked muscles that I don't think I've ever really focused on and it was like my upper ab area and <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. I'm here with Max and we're gonna do the challenge together. Three, twenty-four. Guys, I'm dying already. And oh my god. Twenty-six. The blood is all rushing to my head. Okay, we can't stop. Okay, ready? Thirty-one. I'm up twenty-five. I just finished hundred and I had to take breaks because like I seriously could not do it. Was, that was the hardest one, and we're only on day three. And like, let's go, let's go. I feel like my thighs burned more than my abs throughout the whole workout. Oh my god. I think. Um... Hi, this is a workout update, and me and Max cannot walk today. I, um, um, guys, I have the V line now from that workout. Like, okay, so like right here, like your, your it hurts your hip bone groin area so bad and like we're, we're I'm, I'm waddling and people are staring at me <laughs> it's, it's working guys it's working how to uh, go on this foam roller because we need to stretch out our abs after yesterday okay go i'm not good at this though okay? just go on your side go on your side i don't know how to do it at all Hey y'all, so I'm back here with Caitlin now and we're gonna do the workout but she doesn't want to do it with me because today's one looks really really weird. You're doing like some type of wiggle so yeah enjoy me doing that. It looks really really weird but I'm doing it for you guys so please don't skip the ads and watch through the whole thing and make sure you give this video a like. Thank you because this is so weird and like as you can see there's a lot of people at my school in the gym right now and they're all looking they can see me so <laughs> yeah okay cool. Okay, so this is really not working out. Like, I just look really ridiculous. Try filming me. I think more, more like curvature in the leg movement. Yeah, like that, kind of. Hi guys, it's Max here. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the workout that I did with Kate Lee. Um, I almost fell down the stairs, or I tripped down the stairs, and people watched me, so. That was a bit embarrassing, but the workout was worth it. Bye, guys. Hi, it's me. So today is day seven, and I missed five, six, and so today I have to make up doing three, and hopefully I can be a good enough counter. I honestly don't really have a good excuse. Well, I guess my legs really, really hurt after day three, and it hurt for like a straight four days and it still kind of hurts today but it's a lot better so I don't want to have to keep making and like pushing stuff back because it's only week one and we're not going to be quitters. I'm at 50 and I want to stop ready because I'm feeling kind of like lightheaded. Day six is called candlestick dippers. Working. I just have back pain. Okay, I'm just gonna go on and do day seven, which is what today's one was supposed to be because I'm just having a problem doing that candlestick thing and I don't know what's going on, so <laughs> sorry. Okay, we're done. And it kind 
half-assed everything, honestly, if we're being real. But I'm on my period and I am not doing too well, so I'm just going to stop. And it's so humid. Welcome back to another episode of me complaining. So, so we're doing day eight and nine together. And um, I don't know what this is, but I've been dealing with this the whole day. And then the candlestick dippers, even though I barely did them, they hurt so bad. And I feel like I have spine problems, but... What the heck? I'm trying to do a butterfly sit up, but I like physically cannot get up. Like, like I can't. Day 14 hip twists killed me. Okay, I only got to 50 truthfully because my back hurt so bad trying to do them. There'd be like sharp pain shooting down my spine. So like that's not a good thing, and I'm decided to stop because that's just not good at all. I don't know if it's because I have scoliosis and that's why like twisting my back hurts a lot. So I have to do three days in a row, if you didn't tell, cause like I'm wearing the same shirt again. But I mean, honestly I do that sometimes even though it's separate days, but anyways. So I was doing 14, 15 and today's 16 and I'm just struggling, dude. Like, I don't know, I'm just, it's the last, it's the last set of the day, the last 100. I'm at 40, and I just don't want to do it. I was going to just quit and tell you guys that I quit. But, like, now that I'm talking to you, I'm like, no, I can't quit. But my neck hurts because I can't support myself using just my abs because I'm tired. And it's not even like it hurts that bad. I just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm so exhausted. And I'm sorry that it's so grainy, but the sun's going down right now. Actually, it just went down. Okay, I'm just gonna finish. Goodbye. Hey y'all, I literally haven't updated you in a really, really long time. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. This. Ew, why do I look so bad in this lighting? What's wrong? There you go. Okay, so basically, I have been doing the workouts. I'm just not updating you guys because I'm so stressed out from school and I'm tired. And I kind of am running out of phone storage too. So yeah. Today's day 22, so I'm gonna be doing yesterday's and today's together again because oftentimes I miss it and I'm here with Ethan but he doesn't want to work out because he's being a poopy head so yeah we have our mock AP bio test tomorrow but like whatever hey there this is really hurting my wrist like I don't know why but oh, my wrists hurt more than my abs I found that my arms have been getting a lot of workout. <laughs> Maybe more than my abs. Hi. Well, my ding is so hot. Today was day 30. Well, technically day 29, but I just went ahead and did day 30s with it because I feel like one day isn't really going to make a difference in how my after results look. I also don't really have time to work out tomorrow because it's AP week. We got to grind. Ew, okay, I thought putting my hair down would make me look a little bit cuter, but yeah, let's just not. Okay, so let's do the measurements. You guys don't even know how hard it was to not measure myself beforehand because, I don't know, I just like, this is like the best part of the workout because you get to see when everything actually paid off, well, hopefully, and it's just so, just such a good feeling when it worked. So I remember I was at a 25 inch waist when I started this and we're gonna see what I'm at now. Okay, so I'm gonna flex and try to get the smallest part of my waist. So I have a little bit of a change. I'm at a 24 and a half inch waist now, which isn't bad. I'm happy that I lost half an inch. I guess like I was just expecting more drastic results because Okay, so I feel like I need to explain this part a little bit more because as you can tell, I do sound a little bit upset and I guess that's just because I am comparing myself to myself. By the way, I talk about this in like all my videos. You guys need to compare yourself to yourself because everyone's body is different. I know that I'm going to get comments that say like, you don't even need to work out. Your before body it was my dream body and I understand that. But for me, I'm born really short and small I'm really like petite naturally I'm literally like five two five three on a good day so I just naturally have that frame my mom looks like that my grandma looks like that that's just how we were born and honestly I wish I could be tall and like bigger but I can't I get no boobs from that also so I don't know there we all have like little things that we might be like more insecure about 
but it's just how our genes are so you got what you got it is what it is and you need to compare yourself to yourself because obviously I can't be comparing like my height with someone else's because that's just what you got and the genes that like decide your type of body shape is what you got and you just can't compare it with other people so now that we got that out of the way basically when I sound a little bit more disappointed it's because the first time I ever did a workout challenge is on my old channel um, I'll have it linked down below in a playlist of all my 30-day workout challenges, but it was the Alexis Ren ab workout, and that one was 10 minutes, so that one was all, so that one, I lost like one or two inches, which is more than this half inch that I lost in this video, and I think it's because that video, first of all, was 10 minutes compared to these workouts were about like five minutes each, so it's significantly less time, so less working out time, I guess, and then also... I will say that I think, and also I think that once your body gets more used to like working out, you're not going to get as drastic of a result too because you're not going from literally no working out to just like working out because that's a huge difference. So, because at some point your body does have to plateau, it's not just going to keep going like that because that would be dangerous obviously. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense. So I didn't really notice until now, but I feel like my before stomach was actually a lot flatter than my after stomach. But the muscle that I built is probably like bulging out a little bit more, so maybe that's why visibly I might not look as small. Something that I really liked about her workouts was that it was a different workout every single time, so it could kind of target a different ab muscle. I feel like my ab line has gotten a bit deeper and like I don't know what these are here, but like you see like patches now, you know what I mean? Like it's not just like like right there. I feel like there's some more muscle. So I feel like my waist now goes in a little bit more and that's probably where the 0.5 inches came from. But from the front of my stomach, nothing went down. I feel like one of the reasons why my waist size doesn't really seem to change as much now from this workout and the last Chloe Ting 30 day ab challenge that I did was because I think I just have a layer of fat here that you know like it's just very if I'm building abs they're underneath it I probably need to be doing cardio so that I can actually burn fat so that my stomach will show the abs and actually get smaller because at this point working out is only building me muscle which would kind of make me even bigger so I'm pretty sure my next step is to do cardio and self-acceptance is a really good stage to be at but um, I don't really want to go anywhere past that because I really don't want to go running or like cardio Okay, so I'm just going to say some uh, final thoughts that I compiled in a little notes on here. I really like that she had modifications so anyone at any stage in their fitness journey can do the workouts because you can do it at a more advanced medium or like a really beginner level and she shows you how to exactly do all of them. And I think that's just really good because you can do them wherever you are starting and no one will feel like they want to give up because they can't do a certain workout. I also really like that every day there was a new workout because you never got bored of anything and your muscles sure never got bored of anything. I hurt a lot and yeah. I was like always hurting because there's always a new muscle being used. Also, another really good thing about the workout was that it literally took less than five minutes every day because this and next week is AP week and the weeks before that were all my mock AP tests so I was just super super busy so I had to choose something that I could like easily commit to and this was it so I totally recommend this to you guys and you literally don't have an excuse to saying that you're too busy because it is less than five minutes you just do a hundred reps and you're done and there's nothing more simple than that so you if you're complaining about how you want to have a better body but you don't do anything about it this is a reminder for you to go do it right now because it's literally less than five minutes and you are the only thing slash person that's in the way of yourself and don't get in the way of yourself because why would you do that that's self-sabotage and i am way too familiar with self-sabotage and bringing myself down and not achieving all the goals that I want to because I am just being 
lazy or making excuses. And by the way, before any of y'all comment about how I am like brainwashing people or like trying to force other girls or guys to have this ideal that you have to look a certain way and blah 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 and feeding into society's traps and stuff, please stop right there. I literally worked out for less than five minutes every day and I got results half an inch off pretty good for less than five minutes every day and a lot more muscle definition so I think that this is really worth it and I did not bend over my back so I think it's super doable for anyone it's for sure healthy for anyone to do this and I'm not in any way brainwashing anybody because I'm not saying that you have to look this certain way but personally I just wanted my waist to be a little bit smaller and to get some ab muscles and I don't think there's anything wrong with that and if you want to look like that then go do it. So I think that about concludes everything. Thanks for joining me on the ramble, the sweat, the tears, the emotions. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram here at kcatelli because I don't know I really like Instagram but I don't really have a lot of followers but I would appreciate you having me on there and we can be friends and if you have any questions and stuff you can dm them to me because i check them more even though sometimes i do still miss some but i promise i'm not ignoring you if i didn't get your dm oh yeah don't forget to give this video a like comment down below your thoughts and opinions or whatever you feel like commenting and subscribe down below turn on post notifications if you want so that you know when i post another video and let me know if you guys want to see more of these 30 day workout challenges. So that's it. See you in my next video. Bye.